Hello everyone, and welcome along. Hope you like my new sign. Ta da! Yeah, good one. Like that one. Okay, this video concerns the good old one bathroom bad smells. Yeah, seems to particularly happen probably more in the summertime than it does in winter time. But it's popped its head up again, the old bad smell things. But what can I look for? And there's one very simple thing you can look for that is very easy to do and cure, in fact, if it is this problem. But let me show you first in detail the kind of thing that can happen, especially in the summertime, or when a bathroom has not been used for, say, a couple of weeks, you've been on holiday and you come back, bathroom smells a bit whiffy. <laughs> Let's just go to one of our dodgy drawings, shall we? Over then to one of our dodgy drawings, number one. <laughs> so we're, we're saying this here is the bath. It looks sort of like a bath a little bit, doesn't it? And a shower. Well, what's happening a lot these days, especially with the economic climate as it is, a lot of people are leaving the baths well alone. They take a lot of water, they take a lot of hot water to fill it, and conversely, a lot of energy and a lot on your bill to fill that bath. So people are going more and more just for a shower quick easy and you're in and out it doesn't take too much water but what does that mean then for the humble bath well especially in the summertime this can mean that this trap here this little thing here can actually evaporate the water in it can evaporate away and once that's happened especially if you've got an inside drain it's mainly for those with inside drains like this a soil pipe that goes up in the corner of the bathroom it does mean then that this pipe and the bath is open to the smells from your drain. This drain goes down outside into the street sewer system. So you can imagine you can get quite a bit of smell coming up there. And the water that's in these traps that go across here like this are there to stop the smells from coming back up into your bar. Now things like the shower you're using every day and obviously the wash basin that you use after you've used you've been in the shower the toilet ring are being used all the time so they're conversely always going to be full up but the bath is being left these days and because of that it's very easy for that trap to dry out and then you'll find that you've got a smell so it's very easy to fix yeah all you've got to do is run a little bit of water from the tap into the bath and it will refill the seal across this trap because that seal needs to be water filled <laughs> to work, all right? And, and that's quite a simple one. So that's the main one, but there is, there is something else as well. Here we have our humble toilet pan. Okay, <laughs> doesn't look much like one, does it? But, but no, it's supposed to be. It's a schematic, come on. All right, anyway, so the toilet pan. It has water in it, you notice, when you look down inside of it. And the water, when it's flushed, goes round this arrow up and down and down to the soil stack. Okay, and away. But sometimes you can get a partial blockage in here, or it, and indeed anywhere down the line. And what it does, it sucks on the water in the pan. So when you flush it, the water gets sucked down below the level of the seal, which is here. Once that water level is below the level of that seal, then the pan is open to smells from the drain. So if you notice at all that that seal has dropped and you're getting a sucking motion on there, you know there's a blockage somewhere. Also, if you have things like a closet, toilet, a basin in it that's not used very often, an ensuite that's maybe in another room not used all that often, or you may well be that uh, you've gone away on holiday for a few weeks and come back. If you notice a smell, always worth running a tap into any of the items that you have that I've just shown you. Just a, a little tip to keep those horrible bathroom smells at bay. Eh? <laughs> they are dreadful when you get them, aren't they? Now, let me know if you've got any other tips and tricks. Put them in the comments below. That'll be great for everybody. Okay, that's about it, though. Usual place for all my stuff. Derek and 33. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.